this is the second part of the microsoft word image manipulation video now in this particular video i'm going to show you how you can do blending of images using microsoft word it's not really hard and why would you want to blend an image let's say for example there are some spaces like this one which doesn't look good when you leave it blank so when you blend a, blend an image this is what it should look like and it looks better when you blended an image and put there when you when when you drop a, a free image it will look weird in this in this space but when you blend the image with a page it looks better and more appealing and attractive to the eye so i'm going to show you what you can how you can do all this these two how you can blend an image now when you look through my my document you'll see that i blended images inside document in spaces where instead of leaving them blank i blended images to fit there just like these ones so i'm going to show you all these tricks in this video so if you are not yet subscribed to this channel kindly help me subscribe because microsoft word is a master in 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 making creating books in fact i've just discovered that most of the books are created with microsoft words even these books you read these normal textbooks you see are created with microsoft word now during my research i've discovered a lot of things and i'll be exposing all of them on this channel so if you you like this kind of videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and together we can make your amazon kdp go to new heights and make your book look stunning so that your customers can be satisfied if they're not, not satisfied with your content at least they will be satisfied with your design so without wasting time let's begin so in this particular video there are two blending methods that i'll be showing you the first one is this kind of blending method where you make your first page look exactly like this by manipulating images so that they can look good on your first page that is the first type of blending then the second type of blending is this type of blending where you make the image look as if it's part of the page yes so that is the type of blending that i'll be showing you so let's start with this type of blending first now to do this kind of blending let's let's start the new document let's start from scratch now let me say this is a new document that i have no oh, let me open let me create a new document so if i create a new document here and i open it now this is a new document which i've just created now to blend an image let's first get an image to blend so you click on insert like so if you don't know this kind of process normally you would click on insert and then you click on pictures to come but then when i was teaching in the image manipulation video the the part one which i'll be leaving the link in the description i said that this method of, of inserting image is not good when you want to insert an image the perfect way to insert an image is to insert a shape and that is the easiest way to insert an image inside microsoft word document so to insert an image using a shape you come here to shapes see these shapes you click on the drop down arrow and you pick a shape let me say i'm picking a rectangle i like using rectangle so i pick a rectangle and i come and draw yes the reason why we use the shapes is because shapes are very flex flexible for example you can see this very flexible it can move you can uh, manipulate it the way you want so I, i'll move this shape like this so shapes are very flexible you can move it the way you want that's why we use shapes because if you use an image if you put an image directly it will be hard to manipulate it like this to move it to extend it and to you know to play around with it so you use shapes so that you can easily play, play around with it in the document so let's say this is the shape we want to play around with so you just move it and let's say you want it like this now since it's like this now you you have to this since this is a shape now you have to fill it with an image so to fill it with an image you double click on it and you go to shape fill as you can see here shape fill you make sure you're on shape format and you go to shape fill so you click the drop down arrow then you look for picture ignore all the colors and look for picture fill so you click on picture fill double click on this again then you go to where your pictures are mine is in downloads so let me say i'm using this one so i'll click on it and i click insert as you can see this is the image now because i have a, it's a, it's in a shape i can easily play with it now as you can see this image is not properly manipulated it is still straight so i can double tap on it and i go to picture format which is here click on picture format then look for crop click on crop and click on fill now this allows me to stretch the image the way i want so i can stretch and focus on the part which i want so i hold here and i stretch if you have not if you don't have to do this you can watch the video i'm leaving the link in the description that's the, the video for the image manipulation so i stretch it like that i think this is okay then you can click anywhere in the document and now you have an image like this now 
let's go to the interesting part which is the blending part now to blend this image yes you just have to double click on the image here as you can see you highlight it after that you go to picture format you see this picture format you click on picture format after that you click on picture effects this picture effects you click on it drop down arrow now it will bring for you all these presets eh? and then you look for soft edge this one says soft edge you can actually use all these other presets i'll show you how to use them in other videos but today we're using this soft edge yes so if you see this soft edge you, when you cl click on the soft edge it brings for you other options here this side so let, let me say as soon as I, I put it on this one you see the shape of the image is changing if i move it to the next one it changes the the edge of the image yeah move it to the next one image the edge changes next one edge changes next one and then this last one is the one i always use for blending so it's 50 points soft edge you can actually you click on it as you can see now the image has blended into the page now it looks like it's part of the page yes so this is the the way to blend an image using this microsoft word to blend it to look like the page that is the first method of blending now you can further go ahead and blend it like when you go to picture mode click on picture effects after that you come to soft edge uh, you ignore the other the other the other things i'll show you how to use them later so you come here and look for soft edge options now if you are not satisfied with this soft edge it's not enough for you you want to make your own so you click on soft edge options yes so after clicking on soft edge open now you can move this thing the way you want you see as i move it the image keeps on blending with the page yes i can even make it so big keep on moving with the page so you can move it until you're satisfied with the what with the blending until it is blended the way you want it then you can leave it there and you go ahead so that is the first way of blending image in microsoft word one of the reasons why you have to you you, you need to use blending is because uh, you look at this space for example you want to fill a space which is small like this you cannot just drop an image here and expect it to look nice but if you blend the image here it will look better now let's say i want to blend an image i want to add an image here so all i have to do is go to a shape let me say insert then look for a shape pick the shape here and drop it drop that shape here you see this this shape it's big enough that's enough so you insert you put you fill it with an image so you come to fill and you click on picture from file look for a photo let me say i want to use this one so I click on it and insert it as you can see the image is now here i tap on it i come to picture format crop it fill yes as you can see now the image has been cropped now it still looks like this when you when you look at it even if you leave it like this this it will look good and then when you blend it it looks better so let me blend this one so click on it come to picture format effects uh, edge then blend uh, this blending has made it disappear so you, you you reduce the level of blending that one i think aha uh -huh. now you can see that how it looks between this one and the first one you'll see that this blending looks better so you can move it aha uh -huh. and put it here so you can see that this this image has filled this space very well and it looks nice it looks better hmm? so that is one of the reasons why you may want to use blending when manipulating your images inside microsoft word document now i want to tell you that when blending you can actually use any shape any shape you want yes any shape you want to blend with so to get shapes let me say you want to use these shapes you come here and get a shape let me say let me see a shape mm, let me say a, a circle i put this circle here after putting the circle insert an image inside the circle yes so fill it with an image fill the circle with an image and then you see what i'm talking about so let me say i'm using this image now you can see uh come to picture format crop fill so i can blend this image now you see this circle has arrived here yes in an empty space so if i leave it like this it will look uh kind of weird but it's also okay you can use it like this if you want but then if you blend it to look better so if i want to blend it I just double tap on it uh let me go to picture format after picture format picture effects then edge blend yes now you can see that's how it looks when it is blended that is one shape now if you want more shapes i can use any shape i want there are very many shapes here thousands of shapes you can use 
to blend yes so you can pick any shape you want here and blend depending on the space you have in your book so if i want to blend this i'll just tap on double tap on it come to picture effects then click on edge and blend you see the way it's fitting blend it like this so i can maybe do that this actually looks better than the first one and it has manipulated it even more it has now focused on this smaller part only so this is one of my books let me go through it now you see there's a there's an empty space here let me say i want to add another shape here and blend it so if i click on insert shapes uh let me, which shape should i use I look through look through find a shape i want to find a shape maybe a star so i want to use a star so here I want to put the star here and put food in it put food in a star picture from use this food fix it there then go to picture format crop fill and then drag hmm? manipulate this to focus on the better part of the food that's enough now i can leave this star like this or i can blend it to fit in so to blend the star just double tap on the star shape format uh, picture format picture effects edge and blend now you can see how it looks this actually looks better when it's blended like this so that is blending the first method of blending that i, I wanted to show you so as i can see this video is becoming too long uh, so the other method of blending i'll show you in the next video i don't want the video to be too long and these are some of the things i'll show you in the in the other in the next in my next upcoming videos how you can make your recipes look like this in an interesting way and present it so that your book can sell better using microsoft word and make money online from amazon so if you like this kind of content make sure you hit that subscribe button so i don't miss what i'm going to show you in the next video thank you for watching goodbye